we import PyTorch. We print out the PyTorch version we are using. We see that we are using PyTorch version 0.2.0 underscore 4. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a PyTorch tensor and we're going to initialize it using the random functionality which pulls a random number between 0 to 1 and then we're going to multiply it by 100 so that we have a number between 0 to 100 and we cast it to an int PyTorch tensor just so it's cleaner when we go to look at the numbers. And we can see that it is a PyTorch in tensor of size 2 by 3 by 4. We repeat the same process, and this time defining a variable y. Cast this one to an int as well. And when we print it, we can see that we have a PyTorch in tensor of size 2 by 3 by 4. Looking at the y, we have 85, 56, 58. Looking at the x, we have 58, 85, 74. So two different PyTorch int tensors. In this video, we want to concatenate PyTorch tensors along a given dimension. So here we see that this is a three-dimensional PyTorch tensor. We have two, three, four. So we can concatenate it across the first one, or across the second one, or across the third one. We'll define a variable z underscore zero, and use the PyTorch concatenation function where we pass in a list of our two PyTorch tensors, so x comma y, and we're going to concatenate it by the zeroth dimension, so the first dimension. When we print this, z underscore zero variable, we see that it is 4 by 3 by 4. Remember that x was 2 by 3 by 4, and y was 2 by 3 by 4. So we have concatenated it across the first dimension. So we see 58, 85, 74, which was this one, then 43, 80, 13, which was the second one, 85, 56, 58, which was the third one, 86, 7, 52, which was the fourth one. So we have 4 by 3 by 4. That was Z0. Next, we create a second variable called z underscore 1. We again use the PyTorch concatenation function. We pass in a list of our two PyTorch tensors, and we're going to concatenate it across the second dimension. Again, Python is zero-based index, so we use 1 rather than 2. When we print the z underscore 1 variable, we can see that it is of size 2 by 6 by 4. Remember that x was 2 by 3 by 4, y was 2 by 3 by 4, so that's why we have 2 by 6 by 4. We concatenate it across this dimension. So we see 58, 85, 74, 85, 56, 58. Scrolling back up, we see that x was 58, 85, 74, and y was 85, 56, 58 which is what we see here, 58, 85, 74, 85, 56, 58. The last concatenation variable that we define is z underscore 2. We use the PyTorch concatenation function, and we pass in the list of x and y PyTorch tensors, and we're going to concatenate across the third dimension. Remember that Python is zero-based index, so we pass in a 2 rather than a 3. Because x was 2 by 3 by 4 and y was 2 by 3 by 4, we should expect this PyTorch tensor to be 2 by 3 by 8. When we print z underscore 2, we see that it is 2 by 3 by 8. Here we look at the first one, we see 58, 39, 98, 97, and then it goes to 85. So if we scroll up and look at our x and y, we want to see 58 and then 85. So we see 58 and 85. So the z underscore 2 variable was the concatenation across the third dimension. We use 2 again because Python is zero based index.